Hi, my name is Joni, and today I want to show you how to treat tightness, soreness, and fascial restrictions that you may have through your back area. So, Sheldon, what I'm going to have you do is take this ball and place it underneath you so that you're lying on top. It could be upper back, lower back, just choose an area that's on either side of your spine. We don't want to be on bone, so we're going to stay away from your spine, stay away from your hips. Now you may need to wiggle or roll around a little bit to find the spot that feels tight, sore, or tender. And once you find that area of soreness, tightness, or tenderness, then you would want to wait in that area without rolling. Because continuing to roll does feel good, but that's like rubbing the tightness. It doesn't give our body a chance to release the tightness. So once you've found the spot, then what you want to do is use your breath to help facilitate the release. So as you breathe in, just breathe right into where you feel the ball, where you, right where you feel the tightness, soreness, or tenderness. And as you breathe out, just let your body soften like you're sinking right into the table or bed. So it's important to remember that in order for our tissue to let go and let go fully, it takes time. So it's important to spend four or five minutes in this position with your focus, breathing into it, giving that tissue in there ample time to really soften and lengthen. And that will enable you to get long-term results as opposed to just temporary relief. Sometimes when we roll or move around and are finding a spot that feels tight or tender, we come across an area that feels extremely intense. And that's why we want to work around those areas as opposed to directly on it. Because the key is keeping it gentle, soft, low intensity, so that we can breathe into it, soften into it, and our body can really let go. Because anything that feels like it's a bit too intense, our body actually perceives that as a threat and tightens up against it. And you're kind of playing tug of war with your body in that scenario. Some people say no pain, no gain, but that's not the principle that we're focused on here. We actually want gentleness and softness. We also want your full awareness. So it's important to be in an environment where you can feel like you can relax and you can be focused as opposed to an environment full of distractions or with the TV going or talking on the phone. Because when we're fully aware, fully focused, we can feel what's going on in our body and our body has an easier time of letting go and releasing at that deeper level. So when we're treating our back area, you want to be as comfortable as possible. So for some people, lying straight or lying flat like this is fine. Other people may feel more comfortable with a pillow underneath their knees or with their knees bent and feet flat. So you just want to use whatever works for you. As your tissues start to soften and your fascial tissues start to release, you will feel that in your body. You'll feel it as the intensity starts to decrease the soreness starts to dissipate, and the pain starts to disappear. And that's when you know that the tissue has let go. Sometimes when we're treating one area, we can feel it pull into another part of our body. For example, if we're treating our upper back, we may feel it pull into our lower back. We may feel it pull up into our neck or feel it pull into our chest. Now, that's okay. It's just your body telling you the other areas that are tight and restricted, and you want to follow that up with either hands-on treatments with a therapist, or follow that up with some more self-treatments. So the best tool to use for this process is flexible, inflatable ball, about the size, about four inches in diameter. But because of the size and because of the fact that they are inflatable, you can adjust the pressure to suit your needs. So when you're first starting out, always start on a soft surface like your bed and start with the ball partially inflated. 
over time your body will become soft and released enough that you can add a bit of air into the ball to increase the pressure. When you first start out, you want to start out just like this.